Everything you need to know about Black Ops 6 Zombies in the fastest time possible, let's go. Number 1, as far as we're aware, Zombies will all be round based this year. There'll be two Zombies maps at launch, one being called Terminus Island and the other called Liberty Falls. The Essence and Salvage systems will return, just like in Cold War. Both Terminus and Liberty Falls will have a main quest easter egg. Just like in Cold War, you can exfil the map. For the first time ever in Zombies, you can now change the HUD to suit your style. Another exciting new feature is the fact that you can now save in solo games in Zombies, so if you want to take a break or you want to go to the tour, you want to do whatever you want and come back another day, now you can. If for whatever reason your internet goes down, not to worry because your game will recover and you'll be able to resume just where you left off. Up next we have a new feature called Augments coming to Zombies and this will allow you to upgrade perks, ammo mods, field upgrades and they will split between Major and Minor with Major being the stronger upgrade. Just like you could do in Cold War you can pick your loadout before going into a Zombies game. Camo challenges will also return just like in Cold War Zombies so there's probably going to be a mastery camo such as Dark Aether to grind for. Five field upgrades will be available at launch, which are Aether Shroud, Frenzied Guard, Healing Aura, Energy Mine, and a brand new one called Dark Flare. Crafting is back just like in Cold War, so you can craft equipment and score streaks in your Zombies game. There is a new score streak called Mutant Injection, and when you inject this into yourself, you will turn into a Mangler. Yes, you heard me correctly, you can play as a Mangler in Call of Duty Zombies. Gobblegums are returning, just like in Black Ops 3 Zombies, and for the first time ever, they'll be free, so there's no Dr. Monty's Factory, and no crazy things you have to do to earn them. It's just earn them in the game, and everyone's on the same playing field, so personally, I think this is a brilliant idea. There are 8 perks which are confirmed to be released in Black Ops 6 Zombies which are the following Quick Revive, Juggernog, Stamina Up, Elemental Pop, Deadshot, Speed Cola, PhD Flopper and the brand new one which is called Melee Macchiato. Excuse the pronunciation, I can't pronounce this weapon word to save my life. There is a change to the ammo mod system compared to Cold War. Instead of accessing ammo mods through the Pack-a-Punch system, you craft them instead with Salvage. The following ammo mods will be returning to Black Ops 6 Zombies, which are Brain Rot, Cryo Freeze, Dead Wire and Napalm Burst. The Rampage Inducer was also introduced in Cold War and it's going to be coming back into Black Ops 6 Zombies. So if you don't know what the Rampage Inducer is, it basically turns the zombies into super sprinters and they'll continuously spawn no matter what round you're on. There'll be no gaps in the round, the zombies will keep coming and coming and coming. Zombies will drop loot just like in Cold War, so essentially you'll be able to pick up salvage and items from the ground just like you could in Cold War. Ammo boxes will be making a return so it means you can buy ammo for your weapons anytime, providing you have the points of course. The Terminus map will have a raft which you can use to get around the map to the various areas that are involved in it. The trial machines will make a return, again a feature from Cold War. All the usual classic power ups will also be making a return to zombies such as insta kill, nukes, max ammos, double points etc. Weapon tiers will also be returning to Black Ops 6 Zombies, so this will go from Common Tier all the way to Legendary Tier. Armour works slightly differently in Black Ops 6 Zombies, last time you had to buy it from the crafting table or the armour station I should say, but this time around you can buy it off the wall and it will increase in price the higher the tier you want it. Both the Pack-a-Punch and the Mystery Box will be making a return to Zombies, so classic elements will always still be there. The main wonder weapon for the Terminus Island Zombies map is called the Beam Smasher. Although we don't know a lot about this, uh, we reckon that the wonder weapon for the Liberty Falls map is the Jet Gun. There are four new zombie types which will be introduced into the Terminus Island Zombies maps, which are Vermin, Parasites, Manglers and Almagams. Finally, there are two main traps which we've seen in this game, which are called the Tentacle Trap and the Void Cannon Trap. There we go, guys. That was everything you need to know about Black Ops 6 Zombies in less than five minutes, surprisingly. They've done a really good job there, I feel. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates. Peace out.